currently located at Jockey Hollow National uh, Historical Site, um, or I think it's Morristown National Park. Uh, anyways, um, these are Revolutionary War replica huts where a uh, soldier stayed. And uh, the road here to my left is uh, called Sugarloaf Road. And uh, allegedly there is a, an unmarked cemetery uh, somewhere on this location. Uh, and it's uh, supposed to be haunted. So I'm going to try to get a few EVPs while I'm here. Uh, there are a fair number of people around, so I've got to be rather discreet. But uh, uh, anyways, it's a beautiful, a beautiful uh, day. Okay, I'm going to hike up to the soldier's huts. There's people coming down, so maybe it'll be a little quieter up there so I can do a quick spirit box session. Uh, anyways, as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's about 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, temperatures, uh, um, gorgeous 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, over here, you see the sun's kind of setting. Very beautiful. Okay, I'm now at the top of the hill where the replicate huts are. Um, these are replicas of huts that George Washington ordered built um, in, during the winter of 1779-1780. Uh, the American uh, uh, soldiers had learned a great deal uh, from their previous experience at Valley Forge. Uh, which had a much higher death rate, but that was due to lack of education regarding how to maintain san sanitary conditions in a camp. Uh, there they were built, uh, or their, their abodes uh, for the winter were built on level ground, and um, uh, basically uh, they had no place to deal with sewage. Uh, what they learned was, for, uh, for one thing, you build huts on top of a hill, uh, and so that things kind of run downhill and away from the cabins. Um, these uh, cabins or huts held uh, 12 men each uh, and quite small, as you can see. Uh, and during the winter of 1779, uh, 1780, uh, was considered to be one of the most brutal on record. At the time, uh, these were, I think they first established camp, I think it was January of uh, 1780, um, there was already two feet of snow on the ground, uh, and it was an absolutely bu uh, brutal winter uh, uh, by even New Jersey standards. So uh, this is where uh, soldiers would have camped out, uh, perhaps even on this exact site. Uh, uh, this place is called Jockey Hollow, and again, uh, the winter here was far harsher than the one at Valley Forge. Uh, uh, but it was also a turning point here because uh, the Americans had, uh, again, uh, learned a great deal from uh, prior experiences. You can see it's absolutely beautiful today, too. People are playing music awfully loudly. It's rather disturbing <laughs> when you think of it. So I'm going to try to do a spirit box session now. I'm currently inside one of the huts. Uh, you can see there are uh, bunks here, three levels, uh, held 12 soldiers, uh, six on a side. I'm sitting on the other one. There's a hearth here. Uh, and here's the door. <laughs> uh, and this is a hacked radio that I just hacked today. It's not quite working exactly as planned uh, uh, because it's um, it stops on some stations, but we'll see what happens here. So I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to run for as long as I can without getting disturbed. Uh, hopefully at least five minutes. That's my, my goal. So let me see. I've got turned it on. I'm going to turn up the sound. I've got uh, an AM. Whoops, that was me just sitting up. And here we go. Stops on one station. Uh, 
Are there any spirits here? If so, please say hello. Oops. I guess I'm getting good reception. And I think if I hold the button down, it will scan continuously. Turn up a little bit. Are there any spirits here? If so, say hello. It'd be really cool if I heard from a Revolutionary War soldier or two, or three or four. <laughs> Turn it up a little bit. Okay, coming up a lot. Are there any spirits here? Hello. My name is Jeff. Can you tell me your name or names? Is there anyone here? Apparently, at the bottom of this hill, there's a cemetery, unmarked. Did you just say Jeff? My name is Jeff. What's your name? I'd really love to hear from you. <laughs> Got a cat. I don't know if I'm a cat. <laughs> Not a cat. Getting speech here. Can you tell me how many there may be? How many of you are around here? There's another cabin up in the distance. Not that far. I really like to hear from these bits that may be hanging out, especially if you fought in the American Revolution. Some of the shadows are rather long. Is there anyone here? Hello? I'd very much like to hear from someone. Uh, someone's come up. Okay, I'm gonna switch it to FM right now, briefly. Muting himself, screaming, okay. I don't know your name. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna keep an eye on the people who are the hill. Got a bite. 30 more seconds, I'm gonna have to shut this off. Anybody here? Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye for just a minute. Someone's coming up. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. The hikers have gone, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna turn this on a little bit and I'm gonna try one more time uh, before uh, I go back. And I, uh, crazy people screaming and yelling. It's just really terrible when you're out in a beautiful place like this. The, the train is uh, apparently unchanged since the American Revolution. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful place. Uh, I live oh, just about 10 minutes, 15 minutes from here, so I'm not far. It's very gorgeous though. So I'm gonna turn this up and I'm gonna try a few more minutes uh, on FM and see if I've got anything. <laughs> oh, I got any spirits here. <laughs> that was me against the one. Wow. Oh, is anyone here? Okay, fine. Zach's saying it. That's good. I'm really like to hit him while here. I love this thing, so if you want to come out and say hello, I'd really appreciate it. Especially if you're an American Revolution of Wilson.
I'm getting a bit of letting bugs now. Can you say hello? My name's Jeff. If you're there, can you say my name? What was that? Can you tell me what color shirt I'm wearing? Yeah, I'm wearing a red shirt. What color shirt am I wearing? Trees are nice and green. I'm gonna walk towards the bottom of the hill where allegedly the cemetery is supposed to be at the bottom of this hill. Probably down by where I parked my car. So can you tell me how many of you there are? Tell me your names. If you're lucky enough to be on the American Revolution, that would be very cool. Let's see if I can get the picture of the sign. Want me to take the sign? I don't think so. Okay. I'm gonna walk down a little bit farther. I gotta go slowly. It's a little steep, and the sun's beginning to set behind the tree line. That music. Okay, I'm a little further, and then I'm going to put it on air. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? Okay, I'm gonna switch to A. Maybe. There we go. Okay, now I'm on AM. And again, it stands. Seems to be doing a good job. But I have to hold the button down. Apparently some hacks for this radio won't stop. But once again, there appear to be multiple versions of this. And by all my research, I thought this was one of them. But the hack that I found on YouTube made it seem as if this is the right one, even the interior of it. So. I don't know what's going on. But it does continue to sweep as long as I hold the button down. Jeff. Hi, my name is Jeff. Did you just say my name? I'd really like to give your name. What is really poor 
approved as that tonight. I've been here before, but I'm not quite sure where the cemetery is. It may be in that grass area where the bicycle is coming down with the, I think it's a bicycle, the light and the people are walking. In that grassy area. I think there's a stone there, a marker, but I, I don't remember if there's a marker on it or not, but I'm going to certainly check it out. starting to leave now that the sun's going down. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Another month, the cars will change and we'll have some really spectacular scenery here. Say my name again? My name is Jeff. If there are any spirits here, I'd like to hear from you. There have been reports of paranormal activity up at the huts. Which is the reason I came here. People have also reported that uh, they've heard fife and drums down here at the bottom of the hill. As if soldiers were marching. There's an interesting piece of trivia. Fifers were often uh, young boys, perhaps 11, 12 years of age. Uh, maybe even younger, uh, and they were often uh, prime targets for uh, being shot because uh, each company had their own Pfeiffer, and the Pfeiffer prepared uh, a variety of tune signals and whatnot that served uh, to inform others in the company as to courses of action they needed to take and so forth. It's true of both fifers and drummers. Another thing about fifes is that the pitch is so high that the sound carries a great distance, so that makes it an ideal instrument as well for, uh, for battles, because the sound does carry so well. Uh, despite the virus, we still have flights coming over. Kind of obnoxious, actually. But we're only about 30 miles uh, west of New York City. And we're in the mountains <laughs> of New Jersey. Okay. As I come down lower here. I don't see other people hiking around down there. There were people in the, the grassy field ahead of us. There they are. I'm going to say goodbye momentarily until I walk over to the field and see if there's a marker, see if that's where the cemetery is. But again, uh, people have heard and experienced things uh, down here uh, at the bottom of this hill as well as up by the, the huts. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Would you like to say goodbye? Okay, say goodbye. I'll be back soon. Down at the bottom of the hill now. You can see the sun's going down, but the terrain is still absolutely gorgeous with the sunlight on the treetops. Whoops. <laughs> Guess my radio's still on. And there's a big stone over here, and it does look like there's a marker on it. In fact, I'm sure of it. Hopefully, this is the location of the cemetery. 
or at least it'll, it'll notate that. Again, this road right there is called Sugarloaf Road. This road, the road name changes over here to my right. And the road directly in front of me now also has a different name. So it's an intersection of three different roads. Look at these trees. Aren't they beautiful? And my nose is running. <laughs> Okay, but this is Mark, I have to say. Okay, Continental Army encampments at Morristown, 1777 to 1781. Oh, Jockey Hollow Cemetery, look at that. More than 100 Continental soldiers who made the, can't quite read it, supreme sacrifice for American uh, liberty are buried in this cemetery, their comrades were housed in the huts along the Jockey Hollow Road. The people of Morristown reverently erect this monument as a tribute to them and to the valor of the Continental Army whose occupancy of Jolly Hollow has hallowed this ground, dedicated May 30th, 1932. Sorry about that, I couldn't, couldn't read it very well. So we are definitely in the cemetery. Cool. So, uh, look at this. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get anything here. We've got some people in that car over there, but uh, I don't hear or see anyone else. So let's give this a try. Again, I've got it on AM. I'm gonna turn it up. And if I hold the button down, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Are there any spirits here? If there are any spirits here, I would really, really like to hear from you. If you're the Continental Army under George Washington. I don't remember how many men encamped here. I believe there was several thousand, but I don't, I don't really remember. Well, George Washington stayed nearby in Morristown, which is probably a good five, ten miles from here. He lived in the comfort of, of uh, the Ford mansion, the Ford family, uh, as was his uh, habit. Uh, generals and uh, uh, officers uh, often uh, rented the homes of people that he stayed with, even if they were not supportive of the cause. And he would buy them, pay rent. Uh, he would uh, buy them uh, new kitchenware and furnishing and so forth uh, and leave them there with the families. Uh, uh, again, even if they were uh, loyalists. So uh, sorry to my UK friends, but we did win the war and he was a good man. So uh, <laughs> I still like you guys though. So uh, I learn a lot from you, as I, particularly in the paranormal field. So. Uh, especially, I want to say hi to Jack, <laughs> Jack Green from uh, Phantasma uh, Paranormal. Is there, are there any soldiers here? Yes? If you were in the Continental Army, did you meet George Washington? If so, what was he like? It is said that he was a very generous man even though unlike some of the other um, uh, colonists, uh, he was not well educated. You know, others, particularly Thomas Jefferson, Ben Franklin, uh, John Adams, were highly educated. Did you meet any other 
of the great American uh, officers. Or diplomats from other countries. I know uh, uh, Lafayette frequently visited uh, Washington, including here in Morristown. General Knox was present, General Green, Lord Sterling were all in this area for a considerable amount of periods of time. In fact, Washington spent more time in uh, the state of New Jersey, what is now the state of New Jersey, than he did in all the other colonies combined. Most people aren't aware of that. Okay, I'm going to change it to... Uh, FM and see if I get any uh, better responses. Let's say goodbye for just a moment. Or maybe, let's see if I can change it on the fly here. Still in the flight, I can see the, the dial. Here we go. Okay. And here we go. I'm on FM. in a backward sweep. Again, we are here at the cemetery at Jockey Hollow. I'm sure there are other cemeteries located on the grounds. It's a fairly large area. And there has been said to be a fair amount of paranormal activity here. Bleed? Did someone bleed here? I presume quite a few people bled due to wounds. The harshness of the, the conditions here, particularly the winter of 1779, 1780. If there are any soldiers here, I would very much like to hear from you. A few people walking by, but no one's taking any notice. They probably think I'm some crackpot. <laughs> Four two. Four two. How many soldiers are buried here? Where are the only spirits? I would really like to hear if there are any spirits here. My name is Jeff. If there are any spirits here, could you tell me your name? You hear me? Sun's starting to go down. The sun's going down earlier as we approach uh, fall. It's coming up in just a couple of weeks. Let's see, here's one of the trails. There are trails throughout this this area. I'm not going to hike them today. I'm wearing flip flops, and it's getting dark anyways. But let's see what if this says anything. Okay, it just mentions all the various locations. Here is the map of Jockey Hall. Again, it's a fairly large area. Very beautiful. We are right. Let's see. Oh, where are we? Soldiers Huts. We are right here. Here we are. Right here. Okay. The remaining people in the parking lot, I think, are backing out. That may mean I'm more alone here. 
Uh, but there's some people hiking. Again, it's a holiday weekend. It's Labor Day weekend, so lots of people are out enjoying the gorgeous weather. Especially considering how miserable this year has been. In addition, the forecast are calling for a brutal winter. Wonderful rival that of 1779, which would be very cool because we now live in nice warm buildings with heating and plenty of amenities. This, many of the soldiers here during that terrible winter didn't have shoes. In fact, um, food was in such extremely short supply that many of them quite literally ate their shoes. They'd roast them and boil them uh, in order to survive. There's a story of at least one soldier who ate his pet dog uh, because they were so hungry. Can you imagine? Wouldn't that be terrible? Okay, it looks like... Uh, where are these people going? In the distance. I'm about ready to turn, turn this off. I'd like to say goodbye. Can you say goodbye? I hope this has been a productive session. I'd like to say goodbye now. If any spirit said hello, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And maybe I'll come back. It's a, certainly a wonderful place. Have a great evening, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Let's see if I can turn this off. There we go. I turned it off. Okay. Goodbye.